Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! Welcome to Mod Time. It is January 24th, Tuesday. We got some new mods out today. Let's get to them. All of these today are for all platforms. No PC only mods today. Finding that a little bit odd that we're getting a lot of all platform mods lately and no separate ones. I don't know if there's anything to that. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments, but I'm glad we're getting a lot of console mods. First off, we got Grass Dryer. Does just what it says it does. 250,000 liter capacity, 10 grand, so it is cheap. Turns grass into hay. I like these types of, of silos. I do wish that building has been used quite a bit on many other maps. I do wish it was a different style building, but it is a cool, cool grass dryer. Next, we got concrete slabs. Category of fences, 200 bucks a piece, three different color variations there. Now these are, are gonna be kind of decorative in a sense because if you see on the right picture there, it's sort of put down in the forest so that the big equipment doesn't get stuck, tear up, you know, what it's gonna tear up. So these are kind of RP-ish decorative, but they're kind of neat. Next, we got Tyrolean Dairy. 230 grand, small cheese factory built Tyrolean style. You can sell your milk here and produce the finest cheese. So another good factory. Next we have the large machine and implement shed pack. I mean, a couple of sheds, 80 grand, color choices for the siding. Pretty good size inside, I like that back porch there. So a couple new bigger sheds for you. A lizard 95L, 6,200 bucks is a trailer, holds 6,000 liters. Nice small farm size trailer. 6,000 liters is a pretty good size for that for that uh, size of trailer there. Only six grand, not bad at all. Next, we got the Euro low loader platform. 45 grand, color options and tension belts. It's got the ramps as you can see. It's a good basic uh, low loader. Looks like it can hold quite a bit. I like the ramps. Um, 45,000 bucks is not horrible either. Next, we got a wheeled roller. Four grand, 3.4 meters, 40 horsepower required. So it's got the tires to bring it out in the field to pop up. 3.4 meters is not super wide, but it's a nice looking smaller roller. Next one, this one's going to get me in trouble. The Bark Acker. ASS 6.3 WWS. 35 grand, so it's a little bit more expensive. To start with six meters, a little bit wider than the last one. It's got the, uh, the tines on it option, or you just go straight rollers. So I'm guessing a price increase based on that, but it looks amazing. It's a decent, good sized roller there, six meters. 35 grand, eh, you know, not, not great, not bad. But it looks really well done. I didn't know this was a brand, but it is kind of kind of neat looking. Next, the Deutzfar Fixmaster 335 and the Kuhn FB 3135. Set of three balers there, two Kuhn, one Dutes. It also includes the Caverland 7850C wrapper, specially adapted to the baler. 52 grand, 85 horsepower required, 2.3 meters on the pickup, and it goes 17 kph. Now, this does have the Caverlin, like it says. It's a wrapper. It goes on the back of the of the baler. And it does have a, I think, a little attachment on the back that makes the bales tip over on the flat side so they don't roll away from you. But you got hitch type configurations, color rim and wheels, extra trailer hitch on the wrapper, and a configurable decals and support simple IC. Next, we got the LS series. 380 horsepower, 250 grand. Obviously, you got a couple colors there. Airfoil, exhaust, front air suspension, bumpers, and strips. I'll be honest, these are a sort of odd-looking tract or a semi tractor. 250 grand for 380 horsepower. Eh, it's it's a different looking semi. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. I don't know if there's a real life equivalent of this trip of this semi. And next, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, the John Deere A. 
14 grand base price, 34 horsepower. You got three point linkage and a wheel configuration. A lot of discussion today in the stream about this. I think this is going to be sort of a nostalgia pick. 34 horsepower. You're not going to be able to do much except that little base game plow. Maybe pull a small trailer. I don't know if that front wheel off the, the ground is intentional or just fun. But, I mean, these could run a PTO on an auger or a blower. But a lot of people are apparently excited about this mod. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. Next, we have another John Deere 6M series. A lot of John Deere 6 series edits and mods. This one's 109, 5, 110, 120 horsepower, 40 kph. They added the IC from Vertex Design and Mouse Control Animations and configurations for GPS visibility. Six, I like the 6 series. We have a lot of these now, but here's another option for you. Now we have a wood crane. Whale, a rail wood crane for loading and unloading tree logs. Big grapple. Comes folded on the trailer, which is kind of a neat idea. So you can take it to where you need it. You got a standard or extended arm. Color selectable working lights. 110, 120 grand. Rail range is 35 meters, so it's kind of wide. And the max lift is 6 meters. 6 meters should be able to get any truck you want under there. It says crane will unfold to the right of the trailer. Be sure to unfold on flat ground and folding areas empty. You don't want to be colliding into stuff. Or you can fold it back. You must park the trailer exactly in the same place before you unfolded it. So that'll be some uh, some experimentation. Do not or don't use indoor and work camera for unfolding crane. Those will not work. So there's the different uh, controls down below. You can figure it out for your setup. But a big wood crane. See if this works on Silver Run. Next, we got a couple of truck packs. This is the Man TGS Agri version. You got main color, decal color, add on parts, rim color, and front bar color. A lot of configurations with the lamp guards, flames, exhaust, front bar hazard lights. Switch between plastic or painted parts. Kind of a neat truck. It's got the weight attachment as well for the for the fifth wheel. Kind of neat. I, I do like the look of these trucks. And then we have the Manti just Agro Pack. Two different versions here. The one is 400 to 510 horsepower, 60 to 80 kph. All kinds of tire stuff. Roof window can be opened. Steps unfolded, 130 grand. The next option up is the 480 to 510 horsepower, so a higher base horsepower. Same speed, tires, all that good stuff, and it's 180 grand. So 50 grand for a higher base price on the engine. I don't know if you could get the 18400 and bump it up engine-wise and save yourself some money. Let me know. And then lastly, we have the Platinum Expansion update from this morning. Now, what this did, a couple of new placeables. You got a new placeable sawmill. It's fairly cheap. Produces all your products that you're going to need from the sawmills. And you also have the mine shaft. So now if you want to put ore on another map, these will work on other maps besides Silver Run. So if you want to do ore on another map, you put the mine shaft down, get your ore out, good to go. Also, the bug fixes. We fixed the indoor cameras on the Manitou. New drawbar for the Fansvelt P13. Driving behavior of the Volvo trucks is improved. Improved arm controls of the Volvo L200H and Impex Hannibal T50. Collision and weight of the Lodgepole Pines. Issues with pallets and trailer fill limit setting. Automatic arm alignment of the Volvo EC380DL. Issues with the grapples getting stuck and won't close anymore. Grabbing small logs with the fans out. PM track. Fix the winch rope on the tap gin. The PTO attaching on the cutchin router. Increased reward for deadwood. So you're going to make more money on your deadwood missions if you actually want to take them in now. It might be worth it. Reduce the spray levels to two as on other maps. I, apparently there was a bug on as to you needed three levels of FERT on Silver Run on the fields. I'll be honest, I didn't do any farming on Silver Run, so I wasn't aware of this one. So this came as a shock to me. But now you only need the same amount of FERT levels as you do on other maps. Prove the grapple of the L200H so it won't get stuck in a weird position. I want to see the weird position now, I'll be honest. Wood chip selling stations now accept poplar bales and visual fixes on the vehicles. So there's your Silver Run update. All the new mods for today. If you like these videos, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Put some comments down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you're going to be using. Until tomorrow, that is.
Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time!